This is the moment of truth. Welcome back to another video. My name is Ivana and I'm converting my 2011 Sprinter van. Today is a moment that I have been dreading. Cutting not just one, but two holes on the top of the van. One for the fantastic van and the other is for a fixed skylight. I'm really trying to keep the van as stealth as possible. Um, I do plan on, in the future, getting a C.R. Lawrence window on the sliding door, but for now the skylight will have to do, you know, budget. <laughs> but as you can see from the video, I chickened out. I begged my husband, Ungood, to please do this part because I could not get myself to go up on the roof and do the cutting. <laughs> In case I haven't mentioned before, this whole build is meant to be a way to build my confidence and to truth. get out of my comfort zone. So I really want to do the build, uh, do the build by myself as much as possible, since I will be traveling alone once the van is finished. Um, but you know, sometimes you just gotta ask for help. So I got the info on how to cut the hole on the van um, and install the fantastic van from another van life YouTuber, Van Kooks. I'll leave the channel info below. If you're looking for a more step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install the fantastic van, that is definitely a good video to watch. There's no turning back now. This took about three hours, so he was pretty tired. And meanwhile, this was what I was contributing. <laughs> We then installed the Renogy 160 watt flexible solar panel. In hindsight, this is probably what we should have installed first and then cut the holes around. So this is a photo that I took of the first night of sleeping with that skylight. Oh my God, it is such aesthetically gorgeous. I'm so mad at myself right now. Ugh. So let me make this short <laughs> he did this two days ago and then he was very tired after um after doing that so then the only part left was making a drill hole like a small hole so that i could put the wires for the solar panel in that would attach to my power bank down there i have a 175 um i think it's I think this is the right terminology, 175 watts of solar panel up there. So it's just one big solar panel of 175 watts. Hey, it's editing me. I'm going to cut myself off because I wasn't explaining it correctly. So basically what I did was I drilled a hole on the side of the van um, instead of on the top of the van. The reason I did this was because the solar panel had to be lengthwise and the cables that are on the solar panel were very short. And I guess it's more because I was so tired. I didn't think about just, you know, grabbing the cables and then just like taping them down to then do the hole on the top of the van. I just thought, let me just do the hole on the side of the van because that's where the cables are coming from, from the solar panel. Cause the solar panel is kind of like extended out oh, like um, the from the length of the van. But because this van is pre-insulated, I did not know where all of the electrical wiring was. So when I drilled the hole through the van, I ended up hitting wires. <laughs> so this is such a huge mistake because later on I found out that all those wires are what keep the blinker lights, the hazard lights, the tail lights, the license plate lights, those are what connect those lights. And this is like on the side of the van. Notice that this light wouldn't come on or the light in the front dome, the front of the, the van. But then last night, my husband is driving behind me and he tells me, babe, your brake lights are off your lights like at night are off like so all of like my turn signals everything was off when we both realized that when i cut into the side of the van these wires connect 
to all those important lights in the back. This just really freaking sucks. So right now I'm outside of Home Depot and I'm about to go in and see if I can find some wires so that I can just try to connect them myself. Quite frankly, I just want to do it myself because I know it will be less costly <laughs> um, than going to like a mechanic, have them charge me like an arm and a leg for something that I could probably do myself. I'm scared. <laughs> oh God. Let me just go in. I've been avoiding going into Home Depot because I'm just so upset. So upset with myself. I cannot believe I did this. <sighs> Why did I do this? All right, let me just get out of here and go into Home Depot. So it's the next day and I got the tools I needed. I actually, that same day that I recorded, I got everything I needed except the butane for this. I didn't have this which is how you fuel it so i've been doing this it's not perfect it's going to be super tedious because there are so many wires that i have to connect um fingers crossed that after all this it actually works 200 dollars on stuff that no it wasn't 200 hmm, it was like 120 150 let's, let's just say 120 120 to get all this stuff because I had no electrical tools. <sighs> all right, I'll come back and tell you guys how I did. <laughs> okay, so it's like three hours later <laughs> and I've connected them all to like the other wires. Now I just have to heat up um, the metal thing heat this up and melt this thing <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a proper name for it but guys I don't I don't know it <laughs> um but yeah I'm supposed to heat it up and then basically it bonds it like this one hopefully this will not take too long but who am I kidding this is gonna take forever <laughs> I'll be back okay so I'm done connecting everything I'm just gonna check now to see if stuff works. Let's see. All right, can you hit? <gasps> yes! It comes on! Yes! Oh lord. <laughs> so I'm gonna end the video here. If you love band conversions, hit that like button. And if you want to make sure that you don't make the same mistakes that I did with my band conversion, subscribe to my channel. You'll learn a lot. <laughs> Bye!